kushukuru kwa njia ya sala sasa mpenda msikilizaji na wakaribisha ili tuweze kuzungumza uh, tu, kuingia katika mafunzo yetu ya kila asubuhi leo ningependa kuzungumza juu ya familia hasa wakati hii mgumu wakati huu wa janga la corona especially marriages in this moment of quarantine mpenda msikilizaji karibuni tutakuwa tunazungumzia mambo matatu kwa sababu kuna shida hapa na pale ambayo Uh, yatatokea na pengine hata yametokea tumesikia kwamba kwa sababu ya janga hili e, kumeongezeka vita vya wanafamilia nyingi sana hasa katika nchi ya Ulaya najua pia hapa Kenya kwa sababu mambo sasa yamebadilika tuko katika e, njia impya ya kufanya vitu vyetu kuishi maisha yetu sasa pia mambo yatabadilika katika familia. Hayo ndio mambo nitakuwa naizungumza. Ya kwanza mpenda msikilizaji ni lazima muonane sio kama maadui. Kuna adui kubwa kule nje ambao kila mtu anatoroka ndio maana wote mumerudi makwenu, wote muko manyumbani kwenu. Na sababu hiyo mpenda msikilizaji pengine kutakuwa na mvurutano na mafarakano hapa na pale kati yenu ndio maana anasema don't see your spouse as your enemy usimuone kama yeye ndiye adui yako najua e, katika familia mlikuwa na changamoto nyingi hata kabla ugonjwa huu ama janga huu ulitokea lakini sasa kwa sababu mnakaa pamoja pengine 24/7 365 atujui janga itaisha lini lakini 24/7 sasa mnakaa pamoja na kuna kitu ambacho pengine hukupenda E, mwenza kwa weze a, a, anafanya na wakati mwingine wakati unaona ana tabia kama hizo unamtoroka kwenda ofisini unatoroka kwenda kazini unatoroka kwenda mahala pengine unaenda kukaa na marafiki wako ili uweze kusahau mambo haya ama unaenda kuongea na rafiki ambaye anaweza kukusaidia katika jambo hili uweze e, kuidhibiti lakini sasa unajua hata marafiki ya muonani unajua sasa hata mahala hapo ambapo ambayo unaendanga ili kutoa stress hmm? sasa uendange sasa ni take take away sasa ukifanya take away utaenda tu kuchukua ukae huko na hiyo ndio mpengine jambo moja ambao mnapigania jambo moja ambao mnakosania sasa unakuta una kwamba umeleta shida nyumbani you have brought the problem to the door hmm? so ndio maana mpenda msikilizaji leo ningependa tuweze kuzungumza mambo haya ya kwamba katika janga hili utakuwa na trials you know kutoka ku, ku maneno machache ambayo mnaambiana ambaye nakasirisha yule mwingine you know eh, from those uh, small annoying words annoying things that you do to that deep suffering hmm? eh, it is a test for your marriage hmm? ni changamoto katika ndoa yenu changamoto katika kwa kwenu kama familia ni unaweza iona kama mambo madogo lakini kama mwezi kuzingatia kitu cha maana katika e, nyumbani kwenu kama uwezi ukazingatia kukaa pamoja na kuzungumza to have dialogue mambo yaweza kuharibika na mwingine unakuta ya kwamba anakaa peke yake amenyamaza amejitenga na mambo mengine mengi kumbuka ya kwamba hasa wakati huu is a good test for your marriage. Wakati huu ndio wakati muhimu ya kujua kwamba kweli mnapendana, kweli kweli katika ndoa yenu hamuna mafarakano. Kwa vile sasa mnaonaona kila wakati and these trials eh, na changamoto ambayo unapitia sasa hivi mpenda mshikazaji ndio ina inakusaidia. Ultimately it is what Uh, the response that you give to those small annoying things those trials those deep sufferings that you go through you know it's 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 a test it's a test for your marriage it's a test for your love it's a test for your unity it's a test for your bond you know lazima uweze kuangalia mambo haya yote so how are you going to navigate hmm, this uncharted uh, waters or uncharted waters hii haikuwa mpango hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua ya kwamba watu watarudi manyumbani kwa. Hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua ya kwamba sasa watu watakaa nyumbani kila kitu itafanyika kutoka nyumbani. Hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua ya kwamba e, 
wakati moja wakati unakuwa na shida unatoroka lakini sasa we bado uko na hiyo shida na si kutoroka bali ni kukaa hapo hapo utapambana na shida zako ukiwa tu pale pale utakuwa unapambana na bibi yako na maneno yake na mambo hayo ambayo pengine huyafurahi kwa macho utayaona hata kama zamani ulikuwa unayatoroka ama bwana yako yale yote ambayo alikuwa anafanya vile alikuwa anatoroka kwenda kujivinjari kwa sababu ya kutoroka shida yako sasa hakuna mali ataenda atakaa pale achukue hiyo take away aweze kuji, eh, kujivinjari hapo hapo na utakuwa unamwona eh, kwa macho yale yote ambayo anafanya haya ni mambo ambayo mpenda msikilizaji anafanyika kulikuwa na mpango ya mpango hayo yote sasa eh, yamekoma kulikuwa na mpango pengine kutoka mwezi wa February, March, April kulikuwa na mpango ambao ulikuwa umejiwekea ama mlikuwa na mpango ambao umejiwekea kama familia bibi na bwana kwa wakati huo lakini all those are now shattered hayo yote sasa yamekoma so utafanya nini badala ya watu kukaa chini kuafikiana kuzungumza mambo haya in a good way sasa watu wanaanza kurishiana maneno kwa sababu hizo eh, mpango zote sasa zimekuwa zimearibiwa kwa sababu ya janga hili la corona. So, haya pengine hata yanaweza leta changamoto katika e, maisha yenu ya ndoa, katika familia yenu. So, utafanya nini? Ulikuwa na routine. Hmm? Kuna mpangilio ambayo ulikuwa ulikuwa nayo kama familia. Mpangilio haya sasa yameharibiwa. Unaona? Haya ndiyo naweza kuwa mo, sababu moja ya nyinyi kukosana kama familia. It can be one of the cause of your marriage problems at the moment. Ya kwamba ulikuwa na rutina subi mnaamka, hmm? pengine mnafanya maombi. Katika baada ya maombi pengine ni breakfast, baada ya breakfast kila mtu anakimbia kazi, kama kuna mtu anakaa ana, 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 ana nyumbani, hiyo kazi inafanyika nyumbani mwingine pengine anaenda ofisi na mambo kama hayo. Lakini sasa haya yote yamekwama. Haya yote haiko tena kwa sababu ya janga hili la corona. Na kwa sababu hiyo sasa ile rutina ambayo mlikuwa naye yameharibiwa. Na unajua mtu akizoea kufanya jambo kila wakati it becomes part of his life. Na sasa haya pengine yanaweza lete mawazo tofauti sasa katika familia. Because all these plans probably you know and all those routine has come to an end. So to adapt to new ones kutakuwa na adjustment hapa na pale kuna mabadiliko lazima yaweze kufanywa sasa unaamka saa ngapi kwa sababu wewe uende amuende ofisi na pengine wewe ni mtu ambaye umezoea kabla hujaenda ofisi lazima unapitia m- hapa na pale ama ukitoka ofisi unapita mahali kwingine sasa haya yote yamekwama so because of that adjustment hmm? kubadilisha kwako kwa njia ambayo unafanya vitu ama umezoea kufanya vitu sasa unarudi nyumbani ama unakaa nyumbani na hapo sasa kuna mawazo yanaingia there is always that mental uh, breakdown kwa sababu haya na most of the time projection itakuwa kwa mtu ambaye ako karibu na wewe bibi ana project kwa bwana bwana ana project kwa bibi bibi ana project kwa watoto watoto wana project na vitu kama hizo so everything in that home becomes chaotic mambo yanaharibika everything in that home becomes clumsy So ndio maana kwa njia moja ama nyingine unaona bibi yako ama unaona bwana wako akiwa adui wako. So mimi leo ningependa kuambia hata katika janga hili hata katika mabadiliko ya vitu ya mambo vile ulivyokuwa umezoea kufanya hata ukiwa na mpango mpango ambazo sasa zimeharibiwa hata ukiwa na routine taratibu ambao unafanya kitu na hiyo taratibu sasa uwezi ukafuata pia ulikuwa na matarajio na sasa matarajio hiyo yamebadilika haipo tena saa hii ujui ya kesho ujui kama ugonjwa huu utaambukizwa ujui kama ugonjwa huu utaepuka so your expectation ya maisha yanabadilika na haya ya mambo yakibadilika kuna vurugano ambayo yatatokea kwa watu ambao wako karibu na wewe na wale ambao wako karibu na wewe ni your nuclear family bibi na bwana na watoto 
And kwa sababu ya haya mambo mpenda msikizaji kwa sababu pengine ma, eh, plans are, your plans are distorted eh, your expectation you are no longer sure of it so kwa sababu haya lazima tuweze kukubali maisha kwa sasa haiko vile ulivyokuwa unatarajia na kwa sababu hiyo msikilizaji mpendwa usi project weka kila kitu kwa mkono wa Mungu there are temptations you must acknowledge lazima ukubali ya kwamba hmm? kuna temptations ambayo yanakuja kwako kutakuwa na challenges ambayo utapitia kwa sababu ya janga hili kwa sababu ya kukaa nyumbani lakini lazima pia ujikumbushe ukweli na ndio maana sasa nataka kukwambia ukweli hizi tatu these important truths to remember kwa siku zijazo wakati mnapokaa nyumbani na familia yako kwa muda huu mrefu ambao hujulikani ni wakati gani ambao hujulikani ni kwa muda gani mtakaa sasa haijulikani kwa muda gani utakaa nyumbani usiende kazini haijulikani kwa muda gani sasa utakuwa unachukua take away haijulikani kwa muda gani ya kwamba mpango zako ambao umepanga utaikuwa ume shelf umeiweka kando Haijulikani kwa muda gani ile expectation ulikuwa nayo ile matarajio ulikuwa nayo katika maisha e, itatokea tena ujui ni lini so ya kwanza usione mwenzako kama adui yako kwa sababu ya haya majaribio mpenda msikilizaji kila mmoja wenu atakuwa na process situation ambayo mko naye kwa njia tofauti unakuwa unaangalia kwa njia tofauti Mlikuwa pengine mume mmechukua ile kile, kile yote mlikuwa nayo mwanzo wa mwaka kwa mfano tu muka, mkaenda muka invest mahali na sasa mnaweza kuta ya kwamba hiyo investment kwa sababu ya janga hili hakuna kitu italeta so all that plans is shattered mlikuwa pengine umeanza mm, project fulani kule kwenu nyumbani Pengine umesema mwaka huu January ikifika ile kitu kidogo tumesave waja tuweka kwa project fulani na ukaweka project pengine ambao una expect ilete faida kidogo lakini sasa kwa sababu ya janga hili kila kitu imesimama economy imesimama uchukuzi imesimama hmm? e, uhusiano nyingi umesimama uhusiano sasa ni katika e, social media simu na mambo kama hayo lakini haya yote mpenda msikilizaji yapo lazima ukubali yapo na kwa sababu unaona nini, wewe unaona kitu tofauti haimaanishi ya kwamba yule mwingine ambaye pengine amesuggest njia tofauti ya kukabiliana na hali yenu ananiambaya kwa sababu mara nyingi mtu akiwa kwa shida anaona ya kwamba even the opinion of the closer person as a threat usione kama usione, your spouse is not your enemy Yes. It's too easy to take your frustrations, your anxieties on one another. Mara nyingi shida hizi changamoto haya, you know, eh, kukomesho kwa eh, mambo ambayo umezoea, sasa lazima ufuate eh, taratibu impya, pengine hiyo frustrations eh, unaweza kuiletea mwenzako. Avoid that. Avoid that. Kwa sababu katika wakati ngumu hata makasiriko kidogo tu inaweza eh, kuwa magnified you know inaweza inaweza kufanya kubwa sana kitu kidogo eh, mwanzako akisema you magnify them and it, you give it even a different meaning from the context ambaye hata mwanzako alikuwa amesema so don't see your spouse as your enemy that's my first point dear listener your spouse is not your enemy and this is one of the truth that you must know and understand in this trying frustrating uh, moment as a united front pengine badala kuja pamoja kama watu moja watu ambao wako pamoja katika hali ngumu kumbuka wakati ule mlikuwa mnachukua um, ile oath hmm? kwa ra kwa stare hmm? kwa ugumu hmm? ile kitu ambao itawatenganisha ni kifo peke yake 
and this is one of the hard times hii ni wakati moja ngumu ambayo mnafaa kukaa pamoja msikilizaji si rais is not easy eh, kwa sababu ujui ni pakalini na hii ni shida ni janga la dunia mzima sio yenu pekee why do you have to be unique to fight each other why do you have to be unique to tempt each other why do you have to be unique to project problems to each other there's no need hmm? pengine mwingine anaweza amua kwa sababu ya changamoto na kwa sababu ya nia na mpango ambayo ulikuwa naye ambaye sasa aujui itakuwa namna gani kuweza kujitenga kujitenga kando and it happens na imetokea kuna baadhi ya familia ambao mmoja wao amejitenga kutoka wengine kwa sababu ya frustrations yes kwa sababu ya hiyo uchungu kwa sababu ya hiyo hofu ambayo wako naye na mara nyingi hata pengine ni kitu kidogo sana it can be a very minor thing sasa unakuta kwamba mmoja amejitenga na wengine hata wanabaki wakiwa wameshangaa kwa nini haya yamefanyika Yes. Msipokaa chini mpenda msikilizaji. Uzungumza hali yenu itakuwa rahisi sana kwa yule shetani aweze kuingia kati yenu. Aweze kuharibu hata ndoa yenu. Kwa muda huu mnategemea moja. Na tegemeo lenu ni Mungu. Murudi kwa Mungu. Because God wants you to use this opportunity also to turn to him anataka mtumie muda huu pia kurudi kwake katika hali hiyo tafadhali usikose kumrudia Mungu yes kwa wakati huu kuna baadhi ya watu wamepata fursa msikilizaji ya kuona kwamba eh, this battle hii shida hii changamoto hii frustrations hawezi kupigana peke yao lazima wawe na msaidizi lazima wawe na msaidizi na wamegundua ya kwamba kwa maisha yao yote walikuwa wamekosa njia lakini sasa wameona njia kwamba they depend wanategemea Mungu kwa wakati huu ngumu kwa hali hiyo walioko nao katika familia yao kwa hiyo kukasirika kwa kitu kidogo jana ilikuwa makasiriko sande na mande ama inaitwaje kitu kama hiyo yeah you need to have this spiritual battle and that spiritual battle you cannot win without the lord so mtegemee na hiyo ni muhimu sana ni muhimu sana pia kuna temptation moja kubwa sana katika hali hii badala ya kupigana na adui ambayo mnajua ambaye ni janga la corona ambaye imefanya kila mtu arudi nyumbani na katika kurudi nyumbani sasa watu wanapigana badala kuona your enemy the common enemy watu wanaona pengine adui ni yule mwingine yako karibu na yeye you need to remove that temptation fight the temptation to turn against each other now how do you do that Be honest. Be honest. Be honest that you are struggling. Be honest and accept that the plans are not going the way you want. Mpango haiendi vile unavyotaka. Na kwa hivyo mtafanya mkae chini kila mtu awe open, awe faithful, awe honest na kusema, yeah. We have a common enemy ambaye ni ugonjwa huu na janga hili ambao imeturudisha nyuma. It has taken us back few steps badala sisi kuchukua eh, steps ahead sasa tumerudi steps behind so you must acknowledge that and in that struggle you must promise yourself lazima kila mtu atoe ahadi ya kwamba tuko pamoja vile mlitoa ahadi wakati mlifunga ndoa unless bado mko katika ile hali ya come we stay marriages hmm? ama those arranged you know ama oh come to my house kuja kaa na mimi 
to own it. Unless you are in that state, you have not promised each other anything. At this moment, you need to fight the temptation to turn against each other. The enemy is one at the moment. The enemy turn, that has turned the world upside down, the coronavirus, the COVID-19. The enemy that has changed the way things are done in the world. Adui ambaye amegeuza vile mambo yalikuwa yanafanyika katika dunia. And everybody is struggling with that, Ms. Krizaj. Why do you have to fight each other? Why do you have to label the other one as your enemy when it should be your closest friend, your closest helper, and the person that helps you to fight this problem? Number two, Mpenda Mskuzaji, after realizing that your spouse is not your enemy, there are other truths that you need to know. Na hii ni muhimu sana. Ya kwamba mungu, kwa wakati wake, pia yeye anaweka boundaries. God sets the boundaries. Wakati unapigia bibi yako kelele ama babuana yako kelele, wakati pengine unamnyamazia mwenzako, wakati unajitenga kutoka mwenzako, ama hata kutoka watoto wako lazima ufikirie lazima ujiulize maswali machache ambayo yanaweza kukuangusha ambayo yanaweza kukusaidia baadhi ya maswali hayo ni yapi the way you react to your spouse to your children to people close to you jiulize jiulize what is the root cause of this? Ninini imesababisha haya. Jiulize. Pengine sababu kubwa is lack of security. You know, you feel hopeless. Unaona kwamba hauna security. Hauna usalama. Hauna matumaini. Jiulize. Salama yako unaweka juu ya nani? Tumaini lako unaweka juu ya nani? Unakasirika kwa watoto wako ama unakasirika na bwana wako ama unakasirika na bibi yako kwa sababu sasa wamerudi nyumbani kukaa na wewe. Na kwa janga hili kama unafikiria hivyo wangekuwa wapi wanataka waende wapi unapeleka hofu yako or you are, are you taking your fears on these people sasa ndio maana nataka kukuambia mpenda msikilizaji god sets the boundaries and kwa hivyo frustration hiyo ambayo uko naye the fear that you have the hope that you have lost there is someone who will help you and that is the Lord, God our Father. If you need to remind yourselves, the circumstances that you face each and every day in Pendam Sklizaj, and in those circumstances you see some uh, hopelessness, you feel the fear, you feel the insecurity, take it to the Lord. And I assure you, the Lord will always guide you in the right way. It may be hard. Ngumu. Si rahisi sana. Lakini hata hivyo, jaribu kujoya kwamba kuna mtu ambaye unaweza mtegemea. Kuna mtu ambaye anaweza toa hofu yako. Kuna mtu ambaye unale, un, 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 anaweza kukupatia matumaini katika maisha yako na changamoto ambazo unapitia. Hasa kwa muda huu. Don't frustrate your close ones. Kwa sababu if you frustrate them they will turn against you and utakuwa peke yako. Jaribu kuhakikisha ya kwamba uko tofauti. Na ya kwamba katika janga hili Mungu ako tayari kukusaidia. Mungu yu pamoja na wewe. Na yeye ndiyo tegemeo lako kubwa. Ama tegemeo lenu kubwa katika familia. Jambo la tatu mpena msikuzaji. Mungu atatusaidia kuweza kutoka katika jambo hili lazima ukumbuke this is the other truth ni ile ukweli ya tatu mpenda msikilizaji kwamba god can make you grow 
right here sasa hivi wakati unapitia changamoto hiyo wakati unapitia ugumu hii ya maisha hasa katika ndoa yenu katika familia ambayo imesababishwa pengine na janga hili kubwa la dunia mzima hata kama umejitenga umejiweka kando hata kama ume e, umejitoa kutoka familia wengine kwa sababu ya frustration yako na hopelessness yako Mungu anaweza kuwa tegemeo lako na anaweza kukusaidia hapo hapo because God's grace we say is always sufficient Eda utangalia kile unachoona penda msikilizaji ama uinue macho yako kuona yaliyo juu na kusema yes tegemeo langu ni Mungu na Mungu atanisaidia katika janga hili na kufanya hayo mpenda msikilizaji tuangalie sote katika ile msalaba Kristo mwenyewe aliweza kubeba for Christ the cross was the darkest moment in his life And this is the darkest moment. Hundo wakati ngumu sana, wakati wa giza kuu katika dunia hii. Lakini badala ya kumtegemea Mungu, mara nyingi sisi tunategemea wanadamu, tunategemea serikali itafanya nini, tunategemea vitu kama hizo. Remember, hata wakati Kristo alikuwa na ugumu, alikuwa anajua ya kwamba atabeba msalaba wake, giza ule ulio alipokuwa anajua kuna giza kubwa inakuja alimwambia kama ni mapenzi yako uniondolee kikombe hiki lakini anajua ya kwamba amekuja kufanya nini na amekubali kupitia hayo yote this is the darkest moment for you your marriage your problems your frustration your hopelessness may, might be the darkest moment for you look at the cross that this has carried Unajua wakati unapoingia katika temptation katika kishawishi ya shetani kwa vile kwa njia ambayo unayoishi ni rahisi sana kuona ya kwamba shetani anakuja kwako yes ni rahisi sana ya kwamba utaingia katika kishawishi ya shetani but mara nyingi kwa sababu shetani anakuja kukupatia kishawishi kwa njia nzuri sana ambayo uwezi uka you know ukajiepusha tunajiingiza tu tukiona lakini mara nyingi pia Mungu anakuja wakati wa ugumu wetu wakati wa frustration yetu when we are really hopeless when we are really in big fear that's the moment God comes but many a times we don't see him approach nataka usome kitabu ya Ayubu Job chapter 23 verse 10 na hata naweza kusomea kwa sababu ni laini moja tu inasema hivi lakini yeye aijua njia niendayo akisha kunijaribu nitatoka kama dhahabu hmm? yes kuna shetani atakuangalia lakini kama tegemeo lako ukitoa macho yako juu na kuona vile Mungu anavyokulinda kila wakati katika maisha then utaona ya kwamba yeye anajua njia ambayo unaenda na yeye baada ya kujaribiwa na shetani kama tegemeo lako ni Mungu utatoka kama dhahabu. Mpenda msikilizaji haya mambo matatu ni muhimu kujua katika familia yenu hmm? e, ya kwamba e, mwenzako sio e, adui yako. Na ya pili ya kwamba tegemeo lako lazima yawe ni kwa Mungu. Your frustration, your anger, your hopelessness pelekea Mungu. Na ujue ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kukusaidia sasa hivi. Aweza kangojea siku nyingine. Lakini hayo yote ni kama unaamini. Asanteni sana kwa muda wenu mpenda msikilizaji. Mungu awabariki kwa kuwa pamoja nami na nafikiri ya kwamba haya mambo matatu yatakusaidia wewe mpenda msikilizaji katika eh, kupitia wakati huu ngumu eh, wa janga hili la corona na ujue ya kwamba this is a common enemy for all individuals in the world for all governments in the world for everybody in the world so you cannot be different kumbuka ukifanya eh, Mungu tegemeo lako kila kitu
itakuwa sawa sawa. Nadia Mukami mpenda msikilizaji maombi tufanye maombi ili tuweze kufanya Mungu kuwa tegemeo letu.